Welcome to PC Chess Club. This is a preview of some of what we offer at PC Chess Club. This video is made for educational and information purposes only. These are the ECO from Chess Informant. That's 4th edition, 3rd edition, 2nd edition, you should be able to see here, it says 2nd edition, and that's 1st edition. The first edition, you can look here and you can see it was originally printed in Yugoslavia. Now I believe that's uh, Serbo Croatia and it was Belgrade 1976. Anybody see that? Okay, this is what it covers and then you'll see here it also covers it. But we're going to do D, E, and A first because they start with D4 right here. You start with D4. And these are typically like um, some of your offbeat Indian defenses and also English. See, it says here that symbol that means without. I'll show you here in a second. When you see that backwards L, that means without E4 or D4. See these, B and C, those are your E4, the king pawn. For our little kids watching this, when they open with the king pawn, that's white's first move. That's when you use B and C. We'll get to that. We're gonna cover these today. We're gonna cover all the chess informant stuff today. But if they start with D4, D5, or any of these moves, that's what these are for. Volume D, and it also shows you right here. Then when you get to here on E, that's anything without D5. And we'll cover that here in a second. Here's what I promised you. Oh, I think we went the wrong way. I think at the first one it was way up here. Here it is. It says without. Anybody can see that. It does say without. And it has multiple languages. So you can see. When you see the L, it usually means with. And then here's something you can take a look at with Justin Format. It's their code system. So you follow the symbols. Just follow those down. I don't have this on a steady cam. This is the uh, GoPro handheld. I don't remember what this thing's called. Uh, it is windy. It's windy as hell out here today. Oh, you just said hell. Yeah, it's windy as hell out here today. But you cover down through here all those little symbols. Maybe we went too fast. You can't read it. We'll just slow it down for you a little bit slower. Like this. Slow that down, slow that down, and I'll explain it to you in English. White stands slightly better. That's going to be a plus over an equal sign. Can't really see that. That's going to be a plus over an equal. Let's move this out in the light where you can see a little bit more. Plus over it equal, and then it, it's, if black stands slightly better, it's gonna be equal over plus. When you're typing it, like in a word processor, you usually put the plus sign, you go top down, so you put plus sign first, and then it equal. Where if you're doing black, uh, like Microsoft Word, or like Corel Word Perfect, even Notepad, just put a plus sign if you're doing black just put a plus sign and then an equal sign but you would put the equal sign first and then the plus sign for black uh, we use chess base and some other programs like chess assistant and chess opening wizard professional chess position trainer pro or chess position and trainer professional 
So anyway, make a long story short, we use chess programs that you just click these annotation symbols. Here's another one, white has the upper hand. That's gonna be a plus with just a line underneath it where white stands slightly better. That's gonna be a plus with an equal. I don't know if anybody could see that. We can zoom in on that with the equal sign. And then you get a little bit less, you get white has the upper hand. Where here, white stands slightly better. That's a little bit less. There's an equal sign. White has the upper hand. More advantage, it's a single line instead of two lines, which would be an equal sign. And then you can see here, uh, where is it? White has a decisive advantage. White has a decisive advantage. That's plus for the minus sign, and then that's for black. Equal, the game is even. When you see this, like a figure eight, sideways let me get over here where I can show you ah, it is windy as hell out here today the position is unclear that's what that symbol means when you see this the equal over the top of that sideways figure eight that means with compensation for the material well here's something to take note of for those that don't know this one means positions unclear. This also means positions unclear, but you have compensation for the material. Typically, that means a pawn. Uh, sometimes it may be a piece like a knight or a bishop. Once in a great while, it'll be a rook. And you'll see that symbol right here for with compensation for the material. You'll see that symbol. Somebody will make a, what they call a rook sacrifice or rook sack. Uh, here's another one, development advantage. If you look at it real close, it's a circle, but it's not all the way. That's a complete circle. This one has an arrow. I don't know if anybody can see that. It has a little arrow right there. Okay, that means development advantage. That, what does development advantage mean to kids that are watching this? What that means is they've got their pieces out in better spot or in a better spot uh, they've developed more pieces or they've got them in better places this one here greater board room that just means a space advantage when you see the arrow these two are important when you see the arrow going sideways it means with attack okay when you see it going up it means with initiative that means ability to attack or put your opponent on the defense where when you see it going sideways that means you have a full-on attack going initiative just means ability to control the game in the opening stage it means okay white has the initiative that means white can make threats and black has to be on defense Example would be king pawn, king pawn, and then white brings out the knight on the king side to f3. That would be white has initiative, not white has the attack. White has the initiative. Usually in the beginning of the game, white has the initiative. If you see this symbol after a move for black, that's really good for black. It means that black has taken the initiative from white, now black has the initiative. So you look for that symbol with initiative. In programs like Chess Base, we can key up that symbol and we can find out of millions of games, all the games that show you with initiative. So you can load those games, put them in a separate database, and then you can just have them play through each game. You can save each position, save them, what they call game fragment. We do that at PC Chess Club all the time, and it will play just through those. Also, typically, in chess base, you pick that symbol with initiative, or any of these symbols. You pick one of these, hold on, our pages. Oh God, it's windy as hell. It is windy as hell out here. Um, you pick this one that says with initiative. So you go to chess base, and you do a search for that symbol. It's gonna load all those games, and then there's another little button, we'll do another video on it, 
There's a little button up the top. It's called a ribbon where all your little buttons are. And little icons, little buttons, same thing. But you click on that that says load next game. What it will do is automatically, you can do it in Chess Assistant also, but if you know how to work it properly, you can have the games load and it will automatically jump to the next game exactly where it has that symbol. So where it has with the initiative. And that's a really good way to learn because you learn by example. Uh, this one here with counterplay. These are really good to know with counterplay and with initiative. And then also I would add, if you can find games, do a search where it says uh, with compensation for the material and then with counterplay. That is a good way to learn what to do when you're down a piece or you're down a pawn. What you do first is you search all the games that say with compensation for the material. Then out of those games, you save those, you put them in another database, and then you do a search where it says with initiative. Then you save all those games, the ones that first you go through here, it says like positions unclear or with compensation for the material. So you get all your games that have compensation for the material. Next, you take those games and you sort out only the ones that say with initiative, okay? Now when you refine that search even more, you'd be like here, you call search one, search two, search three, well actually it would be called the first search and then the second search or second level and then it would be third level and that would be like how many levels deep. So you would, you would have it layered, what we call layered searches. In PC Ch at PC Chess Club, we call that layered searches. So you would be like an orange. You peel off the layer and then you got something underneath, the orange. So you would search here first, get that. Then you wanna search here at all those games. You get the ones that say with initiative. Then you come back and you get all the ones that say with counterplay. Now you're good to go. Now you can load those games and have it play through all those games. You just click the button, just sit here, tap, 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 and it will show you game after game and it'll automatically jump to those positions where it has counterplay. But the important part is, and you don't find this at Joplin Chess Club, but the important thing is you search out first all the ones that have compensation for the material. And you can do that with any of these. Like for instance, um, you're wanting to find out about development advantage, okay? So you search all the games that have development advantage and then you refine it by with compensation for the material. What that means is you're gonna have a development advantage and you're gonna be down a pawn or a piece, but you're gonna be with compensation for the material. And there's just a lot of ways you can do this. Let's move on to the next ones. Uh, this one where you see a circle with a dot, that is Zugzwang or Zugzwang, depending on how you pronounce it. That's mate or checkmate when you see that symbol. This one here, this is a very good move right here an excellent move. You see two exclamations. One question mark is a mistake. And then two question marks is a blunder. It's like a really bad mistake for little kids watching this. Difference between a blunder, two question marks, and one question mark, a mistake. A mistake means you made a little mistake. It's just a little bad. Blunder is really bad. Oh, horrible, terrible move. So you go here, a move deserving attention, you get an exclamation mark and then a question mark. If you get here, and I think they used to call it dubious move. We'll have to look over here and see, yeah, dubious move. That's what we call at PC Chess Club a real iffy move, like uh, kind of dubious, like I wouldn't recommend this at home. It's kind of iffy. 
Like, uh, it might take some really mad skills to make this work. Here's this one. We use this one a lot with the idea. Do searches on games that say with the idea. Now, we're going to jump back for a second. We're going to revisit something we just talked about. With the idea, you go down here and you look for this symbol that says with attack. And then you go up here and says with the idea. That means they have the attack and with the idea of trying these other moves to maybe reinforce that attack or maybe what to do after the attack. Like for instance, it'll say with attack, right? Right there, with attack. So you see a position, it says that black has the attack. Let's say white messed up, black has the attack. And then later on in the notes to the game called the annotations, uh, you find this symbol with the idea, okay? What that's gonna mean is they're gonna show you like this move with the idea of this and this or this and that. In other words, the follow-up moves. Like, here's my idea of this piece move followed by another piece move and then a pawn move. What that could mean is you're making two piece moves to secure that, secure the area so you could move that pawn or so you could exchange that. You might want to, what they're saying is maybe it's a grandmaster, international master, and they're saying, hey, you might want to secure that first before you push that pawn. So let's put this knight over here. That'll stop them from getting their piece up there. If they do, you could trade, they trade back. They don't have a knight left to cover that square. Now you push the pawn. Usually they won't tell you all that. They'll just tell you like two or three moves that go after that move. So let's go to the next one. That means only move right here. Only move. I'm not making this up. This one we use a lot. Better is, you'll see that. If you want to get better at chess, look for these two symbols. Better is and with the idea. Now, you'll see this one a lot in really good games, ones that are really, really good. You'll look for that symbol that says better is, okay? So, that's what you look for, and like here means file, and this means diagonals, right there. This symbol means the center, okay? That means king side, yep, king side queen side. That X means a weak point. This we use all the time, endings. We can do a search on that and we can tell all the opening lines that automatically bypass the middle game and lead to an end game. So if you want to skip the middle game, you can do that. Here, pair of bishops. Uh oh, it says my battery's running out and I need to change my battery on my GoPro. Pair of bishops right there. Um... Then this one is a championship. Interzonal, they don't usually do those anymore. They used to do them. Uh, candidates tournament. M, match. Uh, Olympiad, that. Correspondence, correspondence game. That is your informant symbol, okay? Chess informant, 7113 means informant seven game 113 informant eight game 241 and then you'll see ones if it doesn't have parentheses that's your main game if it has parentheses that's like an extra game supplemental r is various moves um this one is c like see this other move it just means a reference to another one this is etc the two vertical lines and that one is without, backwards L. That one is with. Usually R means like, uh, it'll say various moves, but usually R is put in like as an editor's comment. A lot of editors put that in. Let's change our battery out and we will be ready to go with a fresh battery and we'll continue filming.